Yo! Welcome to the Meme Corner! I'm Frost, and today we have some adorable memes! Also, before we get into those, I kind of want to point out that there might not be a video from me next week, mostly because Kit's going to be out of town on the 18th through the 21st, and that's a problem because I don't exactly know how to edit, so that's gonna suck. Also, sorry if I don't sound quite right today, but I've had a sore throat for the last couple days, and it's sort of a thing. But, um, let's get into the memes, shall we? Oh, first we have... Oh, we're starting off with a good one. So, anime versus furries. Haha, <laughs> anime is cringe. No, how dare you insult the fantastic storyline and my anime waifu! Versus, furries are cringe. Yeah, yeah, we know. In fact, a lot of us don't just accept the fact that we're cringe, we full-on embrace it. Because, let's get real, what could be more fun than a bit of cringe for the sake of entertainment, huh? Also, I have to be honest, I don't really understand the conflict between anime fans and furries. Because at the end of the day, we're all just a bunch of people who are fans of a particular hobby, and we might get just a little bit too into it. But anyways, up next we have Funky Monkey Friday vs. Fursuit Friday. And now I've got to ask, what the fluff is Funky Monkey Friday? Because while it does sound kind of weird, it also sounds fun. <laughs> also, I know exactly who that suit is. That's Quartz Husky. <laughs> they were actually one of the more entertaining and informative for YouTubers right up until they took their own channel down. And before you ask, no, I don't know why they took their channel down. They had almost 100,000 subscribers and, well, I don't know. But apparently his other suit, Fjord Frost, was just as cute. But, um, anyways, up next we have... Remember, toe beans are the sign of a killer. Funnily enough, I'm not 100% joking. While many animals have paw pads, the particular kind of soft, squishy beans found on house cats are an adaptation for stealth. Squishy beans mean you're looking at an ambush predator. These are the beans of a killer, Bella. E. And they're not exactly wrong. Felines, as well as a lot of other creatures with soft squishy beans, are indeed ambush predators, including foxes. E. So you know what that means. Fear me. But anyways, up next we have... Oh, I have to check the registration. It's open! Only 90 euro. It's okay, I'm sure I didn't spend that much this month. And then there's the bank looking all mad. Yeah, apparently Kit can relate to this one because the struggle to save up for BLFC is real. But I don't really worry about it because Kit's always managed to pull through when it comes to conventions. So that's a thing. Also, I didn't know that a green lion with a purple mane was going to be an aesthetic that I found cute. But it is adorable. Oh. But anyways, up next we have me when I have to interact with people I don't already know. Live reaction. Yeah, that's about the same kind of reaction I have too. A lot of people don't know this, but I really don't do well around people that I don't know. I get really shy around people that I don't know, and unless there's somebody there that I'm familiar with, I usually get really uncomfortable. A couple people have told me that that kind of makes me an introvert, but I don't know. I really do like meeting new people, but sometimes I just can't handle it emotionally. Oh. But anyways, up next we have page 1 through 13, normal. Page 13 through 376, yikes, that is a lot of pages. But they progressively go from normal to looking more and more like a tomato. Why? Why does this person look like a tomato? And why do I get the feeling that I am not old enough to read this particular comic? Regardless, I do love the way this character looks, and even if they look like a tomato, they're still really cute. <coughs> and yeah, I know I've been squeaking a lot, but at least I'm not blushing like a tomato. Also, I know I've said it before, and I'll probably say it again, 
But I absolutely love it when an artist puts this much detail into a character's eyes. Whoever this character is, they have really pretty eyes. But anyways, up next we have... No! You can't just make a furry meme out of Gary's mod! Haha, <laughs> Gmod meme helper! Also, who would complain about putting protogens in Gmod? They're adorable! Plus, if you think about it, they kind of fit the aesthetic, so it's actually probably a really good idea. Also, now I've got to wonder, does a protogen's visor offer any protection from headcrabs? But, uh, anyways. Last but not least, we have Assassin's Creed's official fursona. Why? I mean, I get it, kitties are ambush predators, but, uh, why? Just why? Also, I'm sorry to say, but I can't stop thinking that this looks like a blinged out samurai pizza cat. I mean, seriously, is it just me, or can anybody else imagine this thing throwing ninja stars made out of pepperoni? In all seriousness though, I think this looks pretty cute, but I'm fairly certain that this was a custom make and not the actual corporation going and creating a persona for their game. Although I will say that it would be pretty interesting if this was a real thing. But, huh. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to let me know what you think, leave a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. But until next time, later memesters! Oh yeah, I want to show our patrons some love too, because they're awesome! Their contributions help us to afford all the neat stuff we use to record. So thank you! And um, if you want to become a patron too, you can click the link down in the description. You'd really be helping the channel out, and you'd get a couple nifty goodies too. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, then yay! You're amazing! By the way, subscribe! Please don't make a foxy bag. Mm.